If you need to create XML files with PHP, then you basically have two possibilities, XML Writer and DOM. XML Writer is good if you are, for instance, getting information out of a database and need to create an XML file and just dump that information into the XML file. If you need to edit an XML file that already exists, then you probably want to use DOM. So let me do an example of just creating and writing XML to an XML file. So first we have to get the file here or open it up, XML equals new XML writer. And this is all in PHP 5.2. If you install the way we do on this DVD video, everything should be fine and you should have access to all of these objects. And as you see, if you install Eclipse, then you have nice code assist here which can be very helpful, actually. Don't have to always look this stuff up. Start document, right, start document, okay. 1.0, and let's use UTF-8 encoding, which is the best nowadays, all characters in the world. So now that we have our document open, we want to create the start element. What's it gonna look like? We're gonna make it look like our members XML file. We're going to call the one that we create though members2, but it's going to basically look like this. So we've already created this line here with this start document 1.0, da da da. And now we need to create this members tag. And the way you do that, let me do a little comment here XML start element called members. Nothing more than that. And then we need to close members and say XML end element. So let's just get the beginning and the end here in document. And we have XML simply in document. And let me show you that we actually have created an XML file. I'm just going to write this out to a file with our very easy method to write a file. It's going to be called members2xml. And we're going to send out output memory. Let's go ahead and execute that. XML writer. OK. Let's refresh. I'll click here on my project, F5. Let's go look for members2. There it is. And there's our XML file. All we've done so far is create a members element here and ended it here and ended the document. And now we want to create a file that looks like this here. So we need member, first name, last name, score. I'll show you how to do that. Basically the same here. After we create our members, then we need, we need a member and we simply say start element again called member. And now we want these two ID and position, for instance, the two attributes. So we'll say write attribute ID one, for instance, very intuitive, actually, XML writer. Write attribute position treasurer close member. Not close, but end element. So let's see how we're doing here. Create it. Go to our file, reload it. And here I can do Control Shift F to reorganize my code indents. And we have a member with ID one and position treasurer. Excellent. Let's keep going. So what else do we need now? We need a first name. So first name, XML start element called first name thing more than that xml now we need to put the text inside so let's call it text jim and in the element see how we're doing create look at our file 
reload, control shift F, and here we see that we have our element first name. Let's do the rest, last name and score. Last name, last name, and score, score, 99. Create it, look at it, reload it, restructure it, control shift F, and we see that we've created a member element with first name, last name, score, and attributes ID and position in our XML file with XML Writer. So as you can see, it's quite easy to use XML Writer. And I would say if you're creating XML files and need to dump information into XML files, creating them, then by all means use XML Writer. In the next lecture, I'll show you how to use the DOM to create XML files, where you have a bit more possibilities, but it's also a bit more complex than XML Writer.